Sting needs to just take that deal that it, that Legend, the Ambassador, whatever that deal is, and just make these appearances and do and keep doing what he's doing and stay out of the ring, man. Enjoy the rest of your life. Sting. You know, we thought we uh, hadn't heard from him in a while, and uh, he has come back out saying that he has signed a new multi-year deal with AEW, saying, quote, I signed a multi-year deal with AEW, obviously not to wrestle anymore, but it's like a licensing deal or a legends deal, if you want to call it that, end quote. So congratulations to Sting. Uh, he, yeah. I think he's going to make uh, special appearances for AEW, uh, you know, Goodwill Ambassador, as well as whatever merchandise they can probably pump out uh, to make some money there as well. But that's good news. I'm glad to see that AEW is treating their uh, older talent much like what WWE has done. They don't forget the people that helped get them there. Bill, were you surprised or were you happy to hear no, the news? No, not at Sting? all. Sting loves AEW. Yes. He loves that. He loves Dar Darby Allen. He's he loves working with the veterans there, like Chris Jericho, and he loves helping the young guys out. And he's a billboard name. I mean, AEW yes. uh, presents you know these great cards and special guest appearance by Sting. People are going to flock in to see him. Is he going to wrestle again? I don't think so, but you no. never know. You never know where there's one angle where they need him and he might just work, I don't know, in someone's corner and get involved, or he might just agree to one more tag team match or something. You know, wrestling people do this thing. They always say no, and then a couple of years later, well, maybe one more time. When the money is right. All <laughs> right, Teddy. <laughs> That's right. Every man's got. Everybody's got a price. Yeah. Who do you want to see Sting against? If it, let, let's say he agreed for uh, for another match in uh, in AEW. In AEW, there's no one I want to see him have a match with. I, I'd rather see him stay retired. No, and I'm just Sting, saying if he had a match. Sting needs to just take that deal that it, that Legend, the Ambassador, or whatever that deal is, and just make these appearances and do and keep doing what he's doing and stay out of the ring, man. Enjoy the rest of your life. I want to see Sting. I want to see Sting, not wrestling, but face to face with Don Callis. I think those interviews would be incredible. I do think that. Uh... That uh, oh I can't remember what he what he goes by now uh, the patriarch in AEW um, uh, patrio yeah Adam um, man. Adam Cole no not Adam Cole um, uh, Edge his his old tag team oh, partner Adam Coldman Adam Coldman oh, what's his tag team partner's name I can't remember it right now oh was Christian yeah Christian Christian uh, I think that him and uh, Sting. If there is a match, if he is pulled back in, I can see that working because uh, he is so good on the microphone, and I think that his character is so hated that Sting would come over big if he did come back for one more match. But I'm hoping, like you say, I hope he doesn't. I'd like to see him stay retired. Uh, I'd like to see him be one of those few guys who actually said, I'm retiring and be retired. Broadcast booth, broadcast booth, special guest every few weeks. Why not? I wouldn't mind seeing him as the uh, commissioner or even as a GM. I think he could be used in many ways. I mean, you saw how they used him when he was in TNA, and he had a, a wide range of talent that hasn't been tapped into yet in AEW that they could really use. Um, Darby Allen's manager. I don't know if I want to see that anymore. He's, he's about to run that out. You think you know all the wrestling stories? There's more you haven't heard yet. Join us on Backstage Pass. Backstage Pass.